Hey guys, it's Teja here and in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert an image like this into this. First, you open the image in Photoshop. You can hold Ctrl O on your keyboard and then select the image. So in this video, I'll be using this image of mine. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is that you have to separate the main portrait of the image from its background. Like, you know, you have to remove the background of the image. So to do that, you can make use of the quick selection tool present here in the toolbox. So simply select the quick selection tool and uh, drag from top to bottom of the portrait and make sure that uh, you select only the portrait but not the background. And you can also make use of the refine edge tool to make the selection look perfect. So that's it perfect so once you make the selection what you have to do is you have to hold ctrl J on your keyboard and once you hold ctrl J on your keyboard you will see that a new layer appears here and if you see here this layer is actually with a transparent background so what we actually did is we actually removed the background from the image and we separated the portrait from the background now the next thing is to add a new empty mask so to do that you can click on this icon over here and once you click on that you will see a new layer up here like this with a transparent background so what you have to do is you have to bring this layer 2 below the layer 1 so just make sure that layer 1 is at the top and layer 2 is after it and now you have to fill the layer 2 with uh, some plain color like let's say white color so to do that you can simply select the paint brush tool from the tool menu and then make sure that you select the white color and uh, select the layer 2 here and uh, uh, just uh, click over here and there we go we have uh, successfully filled the layer 2 with white color so we have the image with a white background now now the next thing is to adjust the portrait to do that select the layer 1 uh, and then hold ctrl T on your keyboard and then hold shift on your keyboard and while holding the shift you can just uh, drag this thing here to reduce or to increase the size of the image so uh, here I'm going to just uh, decrease the size of the image so I'm gonna set this size to oh sorry I'm gonna set this size to uh, something like this and uh, simply apply the transformation and uh, make sure that the image is at the center of the uh, white background uh, exactly like this now the next thing you have to do is to crop the image well we'll do that later but uh, for now simply select the layer 1 here and then go to image and go to adjustments and come down and click on desaturate you can directly uh, hold ctrl shift u on your keyboard to do that so simply click on desaturate and then your image is going to turn into black and white now what we have to do is that we have to increase the contrast of the image and we have to make sure that there is more of white than black in this uh, black and white picture to do that you can uh, simply go to image once again and once again go to adjustments and this time click on levels or you can directly hold ctrl L on your keyboard to do so. So once you click on levels you just uh, adjust the levels in such a way that the image looks white. So uh, uh, make sure that the pointer, the, the first pointer is where it is at the zero position and make sure that uh, you scroll these two pointers to the left so as you can see here. Uh, as, I, as I drag these to the left, the image uh, starts uh, becoming more white. So that is what we want now. So once you are satisfied with the result, just click on OK. And that's it, we are almost done. Now the final step is to uh, actually add a threshold layer. So to do that, 
uh, simply click on this icon over here and then select threshold here and once you click on threshold you will see a window like this now you have to adjust the threshold level uh, you know uh, such that the portrait is uh, recognized is recognizable So here you can see the portrait is uh, yeah recognizable and it's well and good. Okay, so that's it. Now uh, the next thing is to add a you know a background to this uh, portrait. To do that, you can uh, search through Google Images for various background, whichever suits your uh, picture. So for example, I'm I've uh, done a quick search on Galaxy background in Google Images and I found uh, these results here. So I'm going to use this uh, wallpaper here. So you can simply uh, search through Google Images, so and then download the images which you liked. And I'm also going to use this uh, second thing, the bluish galaxy. So I'm going to download this as well. All right. Now the next thing is to open these two downloaded files. You can hold Control O on your keyboard and then uh, select the Galaxy One which you have downloaded. So this may be any background, whichever you want. Anyway, so uh, hold Control A on your keyboard to select the whole of the image, and then hold Control C or go to Edit and then select Copy, and come back over here and uh, just hold Control V here, and you'll see that a new layer is created with a name Layer Three. And what you have to do now is you have to you know adjust this. Uh, you can hold Control T on your keyboard to increase the size of this. So simply adjust this and then here select a uh, screen and once you do that you will see that the image goes behind the portrait and this is what we want and now we can adjust the image like this and yes you can also change the color of this uh, shade here. To do that you can uh, click on this icon and then go to hue or saturation and you can adjust these, these scrollers over here to see the uh, uh, perfect color whichever suits your image. And you can also make use of the second uh, background that you have downloaded. Uh, you can actually add any number of backgrounds it depends on your uh, interest. So I'm opening the second background. This is the second background with a bluish shade, with a bluish galaxy. So simply do the same thing. Hold Ctrl A on your keyboard to select the image, and then hold Ctrl C to copy the image, and come back to here, and then hold Ctrl V to paste it. Now we'll see a new layer up here. So simply adjust this. You can hold Ctrl T and then uh, decrease or increase the size of the image. And uh, similarly, go to this here and select screen from this list here. And once you do that, you'll see that the image goes behind the portrait just as uh, uh, what happened before. So you can simply adjust the position of the image like this. And yeah, I think this is well and good. Uh, now we have all done. Now the next thing is to crop the uh, portrait if you want. So however, I'm going to crop the portrait and I'm going to remove the excess part, this part uh, right here. Like this is like useless. So I'm going to remove this part here. So I'm going to adjust it like this. So simply crop the image if you want. And uh, you can click on this tick symbol here to apply the crop crop and there we go we have our image ready here the, the final step is to save the image you can go to file and then click on save as and then I'm going to save this as let's say result in a PNG format all right So here we go, here is the result image. 
Uh, now if you want you can, you can actually add a gradient to this image and to do that uh, go to Photoshop and then uh, hold Ctrl N on your keyboard or simply go to file and then select new and here set the resolution uh, I mean the width as 1920 and set the height as 1080 and then click on OK and also make sure that uh, the background contents is set to white and finally click on OK and then uh, over here you go to file and then select place here now choose the result image which is uh, this and here we go uh, adjust this image inside this thing so you can increase the size or decrease it and make sure that you adjust it at the uh, middle of this white background and then apply the transformation uh, now the next thing you gotta do is to uh, you know select both the layers here select both the background layer and the image layer now right click and select merge layers now that's it you have one single layer the next thing is to apply the gradient and to, and to do that you can just click on this uh, icon over here and then go to gradient now I'm uh, actually adding a black gradient black and white gradient so I'll be uh, adding a uh, black and white gradient and uh, I'm choosing this style to linear sorry radial and then I'm setting this to reverse well before that uh, you can actually crop this image so that you can cut off the extra parts and make the image look good so I'm cutting off the uh, extra part like this And right click and select crop and that's it the crop is applied now you can actually go ahead and add a gradient to this uh, to do that you can uh, simply click on this icon over here and then go to gradient and choose black here and in the style section uh, select radial and uh, check mark this reverse and then adjust the scale uh, such a way that the image looks good okay this is perfect right so simply click on ok and the gradient should be applied now we can actually add a text to your image uh, like this simply select the text tool the type tool over here and for example um, I'm adding a text here uh, as you can see the font is a papyrus is that what you call anyway the font is papyrus and I'm gonna add a uh, text like tech rush so I'm going to choose a uh, black font and yeah that's it so that's it guys this is the final output which we want and if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to comment below or you can email me at anonymoushacker156 at the rate gmail.com the email id will be in the description below so if you if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and show your support by sharing this video if you're watching this on your mobile, click on the bell symbol and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Hit the subscribe button for more videos. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techrosh156. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash techrosh156. Visit my website at techrosh156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.